Hey, what's up YouTube? It's A-Fall Man, and I finally built the Batcave. And I know there's a lot of controversy. I've heard a lot of people complaining about the price. Is it worth it what you get? And in this video, I'll break it down, let you guys know what I think about it. And obviously, I spent the money to get it. So uh, let's get into it and do some close-ups here. Now, as you can see, the set is obviously huge, uh, which kind of is a problem in my mind because... Uh, this is something that I want to display, and this is going to make it more challenging to display this set, being so big. Uh, it does come with a very large book, obviously, and it kind of breaks it up in sections. First off, you do the car, and we'll do a close-up of the car. So here's a closer look at our Batmobile itself. Overall, I, I do like it. You know, it's big, but, you know, this is how cars were in the 60s and 70s. Uh, I had a 74 Torino whenever I was 16, and that thing was like a boat. And if you know any older people that still drive their old cars, this is kind of like what they look like. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of these shooters on the front, but that's what they do now. This is a printed hubcap piece. This is a sticker. It does have some more little stickers on the inside there. Uh, does have a spot back here for putting your extra tools, whatnot, handcuffs. Uh, which you could make a little spare tire. I did actually do that because you do get one extra hubcap. I like the way they did this with the hinge bricks. So it kind of gives it that nice angle. So here is the one. Uh, obviously this is just built with the instructions from the San Diego Comic Con one. Not exactly, but it, this kind of gives you a, a size reference here. That's, wow, almost two of these uh, to make that one. Which, you know, that's kind of how cars are now. A lot smaller uh, overall I gotta say I do like it and you know these minifigs do have the new capes so they fit in there a lot better uh, with those new capes you can kind of see in there you got the phone and this is a sticker here too get that to focus for you uh, I think it does look cool this has got like a display there and for the rest of it you know uh, you kind of got this little area here for the helicopter pad uh, and it just kind of pulls apart it's not even like uh, pins it's just kind of like I don't know gears or a pin I don't know what you call them but they don't really hold together you just kind of push it apart and this is probably one of the better parts the actual cave uh, down here we'll take a closer look at it so here's a look at the main part of the back cave you got the reactor here or, uh, got the joker i just put him up there and pretty much everything you see here is stickers just stickers 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 here and all this is stickers back here which you know this is kind of so tight that you really can't even put a minifig in there to work on it. but you can easily take these pieces out and set them stage it however you want you do have like these big ugly rock pieces uh, making up both sides kind of mirrored uh, when you build it one side the same and if you look at it from this side, you can kind of see inside there. It's, you know, it's pretty exposed. Uh, but, I mean, if you have it all three together, you won't see that. Uh, kind of flip it around from the back. It actually looks pretty good from the back. I mean, this, I, I, I like this whole build, this uh, part right in here. This looks good from every angle. I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. And it looks like this came unhooked here. Uh, pretty nice build. I mean, in my personal opinion... Uh, I would have rather have seen just this as a set. Uh, maybe, you know, this and a vehicle. Uh, maybe a little bit more detailing. Maybe make it a $100 set. Get the minifigs. Uh, I think uh, overall it would have been a better set if they just would have maybe broke it up a little bit. Uh, this is pretty cool. I, I think this definitely would be uh, one of the pieces that will stay together and be displayed. I think the way that they did this, this it looks good. I like getting these pieces, these like handrails, and uh, they got the sand green. Uh, anytime we get sand green is good. Oh, I do want to show too, this is a new piece here. It's like a uh, one by one round tile. It's got like a print right there. It makes it look like almost like a battery for like a watch or something. Uh, but that is printed, so that's good. You don't have to put that on. Now, taking a closer look at this section, I got to say... The way this came out is beautiful. I love this little section. You got the little bookcase uh, where you can slide down. It's actually just a facade. You really don't slide down there, but there is like off the 
TV show, you got the slide for Bruce and Dick to slide down and just slide that back over. And then underneath this head, which I'm pretty sure this uh, was a collectible minifig head, I think maybe series 10, the guy with the like beach guy. And then you flip that back, you can hit the button, drop it down. And uh, you do have stickers here, stickers on the desk there, and on the red phone, you got a sticker. And overall, it's pretty awesome the way it looks. But I mean, there's not a lot of room there. There's no studs for the minifigs to stand on. There's just basically waiting to fall over. Uh, not a lot of play area. This is basically just for display, for looks, uh, which is kind of the other problem because, like I mentioned, it's so tall that where are you going to put this? You know, it's just, uh, I don't know. These are printed bricks here, which is cool. I look forward to seeing that print and more sets. On, and then flipping around to the back, I do have this little roof tiling. It's just basically like a 16 by 16 plate on a hinge to give it that look. You have the gutter, you got the cat up there on the roof, and you got a little antenna up there. And yeah, but really coming down the back is really where it looks sharp. Uh, I just love the way the way they pull this off with uh, a little bit of grass growing on it. You got the windows, but uh, unfortunately, you know, that's not a lot there. And it's funny because I really didn't even know it looked this good on the back. I don't know. It's, Maybe I didn't watch the whole video Lego put out on it, but it does look really sharp. But as you turn around to the side, you see uh, where they fall down, like the fire poles, basically. And as I mentioned, you can't get in there from up here because that's basically just a plate. Uh, but you put the minifigs down here and then see if this works. Flip drop that. So one fell. Let's see what happened here. Turn it around. See why he must have. Oh, okay, he's on his own separate one. I, I thought they were hooked together. Uh, I guess each one's on their own drop, so then Batman and Robin can slide down into the cabin. Oop, there went Bruce, like I was saying. Nowhere to stand him up there. And as a lot of people have been complaining, I really don't care for it either. The way the 16, got this giant 16 by 16 uh, dark gray base plate here. Uh, I just wish they would have gave you a little bit more slopes to work with. Uh, maybe even... Uh, something to help cover up this. I did see uh, like the brick adjuster kind of did some different things. Put some uh, different rocks, more maybe some more grass pieces over on the sides to kind of cover it up. I mean, it's, I don't know, just something about it. <laughs> something about it. I mean, you look at it, it's just kind of, it's there. It is what it is. And it's so tall. I mean, I as much as went into making these poles drop down into the back cave, uh, that was a large chunk of the design, the build uh, for this set, the cost of this set. Uh, I would have much rather had this maybe be half the height, maybe one support. They could still drop down and maybe that money went somewhere else to buy some of those. Because I love the way this looks. I would have loved to have seen uh, maybe just one set of the house and then maybe another set of the cave. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I don't know. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of it here. So here is the bottom section with the helicopter pad on the top and a uh, close look at the helicopter. I got to say the helicopter, I, I love it. I mean, it just, uh, I don't really remember seeing Batman flying around in a helicopter. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't watch a lot of those episodes when they were on TV. Uh, obviously, I'm not that old, but I did see the reruns. But this is a printed front piece here which is pretty cool uh, I can't imagine that being in any other set I can't imagine how well this would, a helicopter would fly with these giant bat wings that is a sticker there on the side a sticker on the back uh, but overall pretty cool helicopter I'm happy to have that and this does have some large stickers up here which I did kind of mess one up uh, if you get these off just a little bit you can see is this I got this one off just a little bit and then by the time it gets all the way up there, it's like touching. So that's, I mean, it's not hugely bad, but you can't really put that down and then redo it. That's kind of, you got to really take your time with those stickers. And this is kind of repetitive. One side basically looks like the other side. You can put it over here. So you really can't see a difference. And then you still have the same look 
on the other side here just you can just see how it's all getting put together and really it's not big enough for the car uh, i guess the car it was just kind of be sticking a little bit out front and back but i don't know i guess it works better with the motorcycle put the motorcycle in there i think the motorcycle sits in there pretty good seems like that's yeah uh, i don't know yeah, I, I'm not disappointed with it. Uh, like I said, I do really like the helicopter, but just as a display piece, it's just going to be more of a challenge uh, to put that anywhere. Here's a look at the bat bike and sidecar. Uh, I think this might be the first set we got this bike mold in black. I could be wrong on that though, but happy to get that. And you got the little bat wing right there in the middle. And then come around over here, you got the little sidecar, which is pretty good little build. It's got the spare tire on the back here. Uh, pretty simple, but overall I think it looks good. Uh, I don't really remember them even driving on the Bat motorcycle very much in the show. Uh, I could be wrong though, I have to go back and look. Uh, but I'm happy to have it. Here's a little closer look at some of the extra little builds you get. Just a little... Uh, stuff for like a little lab setup. I think this is pretty cool with the uh, little magnifying glass looking at the chemicals there. Uh, nothing really outstanding here. I do like seeing this piece in these colors as brown and uh, as fleshly drawers, flesh colored drawers. And then these are stickers on here, uh, which probably do look like real set pieces from the TV show. And here's your Batman and Robin minifigs. Uh, I do really like the printing on here, and I just love these new cloths. The material is just so it feels like a real cloth material. It doesn't have that hard paper you're gonna get all messed up. Uh, got a little bit of back printing of their belts. Both of them do have double-sided faces. Take these down, I'll show you. So we got Robin scared, Batman, Batman angry, Robin looks happy. Uh, so I do like these minifigs and here's a look at some of the minifigs we get. These are our four villains here We got the Joker uh, The Penguin the Riddler and Catwoman and these are really awesome little minifigs as you can see the Joker I guess the actor just refused to shave his mustache there. So uh, They would just put the white paint right over top of it. I to be honest with you. Maybe just because uh, I just could never notice it or just didn't pay attention. I never really saw that uh, in the show. Here's a look at the back. They all do have double-sided faces except for the Joker, I mean the Penguin because obviously his hat. He's kind of got the Mr. Gold hat. If I can take this off, you can see. I'm pretty sure Catwoman's hair was on that collectible minifig that just came out in like the last series of Catgirl. And so there's a look at their other faces. I do like the face on the Joker. And so that's our four villains. And here's our other minifigs when they're not out fighting crime. This is when they're in their normal clothes here. And I do like the Alfred. Got the kind of older face. I got the Doc Brown hair going there. The old Doc Brown. The new one's got the new hair piece. And then really now too much printing on the back. They do have uh, double sided faces I'm pretty sure. Take these off. So there you got the double sided face for each one which comes out pretty good. Now my final thoughts on this set guys. It is not cheap uh, but if you bought this set I think you're going to be happy with it. This set is specifically made for a certain group of people and those people who want this set aren't going to watch this review. They don't care about my opinion. They're going to buy it no matter what. And I, I, I'm happy to have it. Uh, is there some flaws? Yes. I, don't, I do think they put too much emphasis on this whole uh, section here. I think that could have been half the size and maybe dedicated some more for uh, walls. Maybe to cover up some of this on the inside so you don't see so much. But I'm, I'm not upset with it and I actually probably will try to do some modifications myself just because to display this I can't have it be that crazy tall. Uh, I might try to take out a whole section 
of this where this is this blank space anyway just drop it down maybe one whole one and take that nice front and put it on the side I don't even know if that's uh, how easy that would be but that's some options you do have options you do get amazing minifigs if you grew up watching the show you're gonna be very happy uh, so in my opinion is it overpriced yes uh, but you know what 99% of all Lego sets in my opinion are overpriced uh, the profit margin on this has got to be sky high I think it would have been better broken up into smaller sets like this be a set the car be its own set you know the helicopter with this maybe its own set and each one of this got a little bit more detailing they could have maybe even made more money the way it is right now what I was kind of thinking was it would be really cool if it was just like a scene at the studio like if they had like camera crews and it, you could tell it was just like a studio scene because a lot of it is kind of like a facade like the whole uh, apartment or his, uh, his house where the sliding uh, you know bookshelf is and everything if you could have like a little camera crew taking pictures of that kind of like the old studio sets I think that's kind of what this is it's kind of like a, a scene out of a studio well, you guys let me know what you think I definitely appreciate you watching uh, I look forward to hearing what you say in the comment section below are you gonna get this set do you think it's overpriced are you gonna spend your money on something else let me know comment down below thanks for watching guys see you in the next one